Greetings everyone, and Great here from another HRS 4 or 3 replay. It's on the south side as the Red Indians, we have Gideon, AI. On the north side as the Blue Germans, we have Grand Wolf. I don't know why that sounds like a German name. Jose does kill that man to steal his Katzbalger, whatever that is. And he will gun down that man to steal his peace treaty. That does absolutely nothing. A deck. Nope, we do not get deck. No deck. And somebody realized as well. I need to do this before I start recording. There you go. Much better. And looks like Red will kill the unbearable bear and steal his Bohemian window frame that he was going to use for his house. Got a mark going up for blue. Guns down that man and steal his mosaic. Blue is going for some early hunting dogs. Hmm, I wonder if they paused. Either way, we do have red heading up here. We do got the House of Habsburgs. We can give you some funny looking infantry in the form of ranged heavy cab. And he is actually going for the House of Habsburgs. Let's take a better look at that then. The Mounted Infantry is a weird unit. They are light infantry on the ground, or they are heavy ranged cab while they're on horseback. First, I think they should just be both be light, because light and light. And over here, we've got a Lion Infantry. A Lion Infantry is a Musketeer. And you get the Rotsky March to give you access to more Magyar Hussars. And you can get plus one shipment for five, 750 resources. We do have a deck now available. Native Lore OP. Town Center Enlisted Irregulars. Uh, town Center Attack Increase. You can call out Irregulars in Centuries again. Yep. Things like the stated like Town Militia, but just Indian version. Holy Refugee. Monastery Improvements Cheaper and Ships and Monastery Rickshaw. So that will give you some experience to go along in the early game, as well as perhaps use some outlaws or mercenaries. Coin native learning. All native lore improvements at trade post cost less. Not sure what he's referring to. We do have atonement. Outlaw units cost less population. Repentant giant lance from mercenaries available at the monster once you reach fortress. Wood coin coin, Rumi swordsmen, Zambrux, Haudas, Mount Hot Lancers, Elephant Combat, Native Warrior hit points, Intervention, Wood, Rumi swordsmen regiment, Infinite Rumi swordsmen, Sour regiment, Haudar regiment, Siege Elephants, 17 Chakrams, 25 Tiger Claws, Higher Indian Jot Lancers, and Higher Indian Mercenary Arm army so we've got a mercenary native deck he is aging up with the taj mahal which will give him access to a sense of shipment of coin when built and allows uses a ceasefire ability and over here we do have the quartermaster along with a very fine coat <laughs> Blue is now going for this train post over here. Elephant moving around. I am curious how he's going to use this training post. Of course, maybe next age. At least gain the once he gets to age two, this big button will start counting down, up, cycling. So you get more skits and Magyar Hazards later on. And I believe they're not classified as native. Maybe they are classified as native. Oh no, it immediately starts counting. Look at that. The cooldown has already started. So if you build that immediately, it starts uh, cooling down or counting. It does also have access now to Ceasefire, which could be very useful. Huh? So far we've got a relatively weird Indian deck. He is also not putting more villagers. He's at 11 out of 10 population. <coughs> Arthur 
Shimmer Coin, so he's going to some sort of fast fortress. I am not sure what he's planning at the moment. Got a church here for the Germans. You can always get some more of the line infantry, or an, and of course the mounted infantry. We got some Oolons brought on out, probably from Shimmit, going for the White Tiger training, and now going for the Tower of Victory. The Tower of Victory will provide him ship's wood upon completion, allows you to use the inspiration to temporarily increase attack and hit points of all your land units. But the biggest problem I can see right now is just the lack of population on the field, so I'm not so sure what he's exactly planning. Hello. This villager will need to get inside the town center roads will be soon. Not paying attention. There's the Magyar Hazar. He immediately got that out. It does consume population housing. You see here, it is not classified as native, but it is, of course, heavy cav. And a pretty heavy heavy cav as well. Very similar to Hazar in damage 33 versus 37 for the Ulan. Uh, 190 health versus uh, 704. We also got number of white tigers, oh, Wagner, the white tiger. Now bring in the native learning, improves the training post costs less, as well as making the native improvements cost less. The some meme build? Possibly, I have no idea. He is someone you never know what he's going to do. We got multiple white tigers not being queued on up. I think you're limited to what, 10? 12. Our victory is still being the one out. Got some more Ulans. But he's also aging up to the marksman. White Tigers do offer a bit of bonus damage with light infantry. More Wagners. Always need to go for a German naming, uh, German named pets to deal with the Germans. Guess we'll give him a bit of coin to work with. Still at. 15 out of 10 population. Huh? Ulan's yeah. doing a good job of keeping their distance away from the pets. <clears throat> now I got some veteran line infantry now being employed on the field, which are a musketeer. They gain different uh, benefits in each stance. That's not going to be useful. Uh, ships number of random European infantry and cavalry mercenaries. For 750 gold, you did go for one that reduced the cost by 150, so this one may be very good? I have no idea. We got some skirmishers here, which can be eaten by the tigers. Kind of skirmishers and more Ulans, of course. <laughs> Stable now built. There's the musketeers. Right now they're doing... Oh, they have a little bit of higher attack speed. They have 25 damage. Their hand attack's pretty high at 1. Huh. This is now the shipment... Huh, I just realized something. Oh, never mind. So this will give him plus one shipment he can use, right? Or research there. He's now gone for housing. Bring in some more veteran line infantry. Let's see. Soon has access to another Magyar Hazar. Oh. 
Now let's bring in the motion, multinationalism. Huh? I am not sure how effective this is going to be. Let's find out. Huh. Has different field views. More line infantry. There is a limit of 15. He has 8. Bring in the Shim of Haldaws. Got a number of war wagons. So there's multinationalism. He got a repentant archivist, which has 80 damage and one AoE, which do less damage versus hand uh, infantry. But holy crap, 121 hand attack for a mounted, mounted rifleman. That is a light infantry mounted, which also is classified as heavy infantry. Ceasefire has been active. Now we're gonna read this stuff. I repent a cannoneer. There's a repentant Jaeger. There's another Magyar Hazar. Who's gonna keep his distance? I have no idea how this is gonna go. Blue's force seems a bit more substantial, but it's hard to gauge mercenaries. Mountain riflemen uh, is something you get from, at least as the Italians. And it's something I know as well, the counter infantry rifling upgrade from the arsenal does negatively ad uh, adversely affect the heavy infantry damage while increasing light infantry damage. Not sure if that would make a difference here. It does get a couple ele elephants, which are not mercenary, but they're heavy, like mercenaries. Right now, the German population is 116 versus 48. Of course, the number oh, yeah. of natives and pets, which don't consume population. His army size is 32. And I'll go for the Ottoman allies. <clears throat> I still have no idea what his end game plan is. Bring in some more line infantry. It's got quite a bit of food stored up. Uh, which the number of shipments could require food. Your army swordsman classifies neither light nor heavy if I remember correctly. You may find opportunity to gain some skirmishers. A good number of Oolons here, which the Haldals can do some good damage versus them. We do have a number of veteran line infantry pushed way forward. And it looks like a staggered formation, in which they do siege dan a a attack. And their attack speed is not bad as well. The Tigers are pushed way forward. They will do both damage versus the uh, skirmishers. So they're, the Wagners are doing quite well. Good damage there on the veteran war wagons. Got a good number of veteran line infantry engaged in melee. Or melee order. Tigers do manage to break on through. He has broken through with a quality army and blew backs of the game. That was a weird conflict. I'm sort of surprised Red sort of won that. Either way, this end grade saying thank you for watching. And on to the next replay.